How is it going, Data Bites? Is no data here. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. This axe looks so freaking cool. I really wish you could use that in the game. That just looks really cool, dude. Anyway, today we are here on Assassin because we are doing a trading video. You guys really thought that I wasn't going to be doing a trading video this month, but uh, here we are. As you guys know, I try to do a trading video every single month. So uh, here is the one for the month of June. So yeah, guys, like always, we're just gonna hop around in a handful of servers and see if we can do some pretty interesting trades no goals in particular as you can see i traded for the second competitor blade too gonna give that away pretty soon so uh i guess i'm just gonna focus on getting more top 100 prizes because as you guys know i do need to start preparing for trading for black hole because black hole exists now and that's gonna be one of the rarest knives in the game and once it becomes tradable uh it's gonna be pretty expensive to get so yeah we're just gonna jump around in a bunch of servers and i might even try a royal Royale server because you know there's a bunch of players in that mode so I want to see what is it going to be like to trade in that mode because I see a lot of people trading in Royale mode and I never really do that I kind of just focus on the game but uh, I'm gonna hop into a Royale server and see what it's like trading like that if you guys are excited for this episode of Assassin then be sure to drop a like on this video it helps out a whole lot also guys we're very close to 150,000 subscribers once we hit that milestone we are going to give away this competitor blade 2 that I was talking about this is one of the best knives in the game be sure to subscribe so that we can do that giveaway no data merch link in the description and don't forget to use star code purple when you are buying robux and roblox premium it really helps me out to continue making these videos for you guys so let's go ahead and turn on trades and let's see what trades we get my inventory for comment Ooh, that'd be kind of interesting um i'm not going to do that because that requires more than six trading slots so i really don't want to do that again if you do those types of trades you will probably end up getting scammed so uh you probably don't want to do that offer on krampus okay a little bit low on tier threes uh but you know we can kind of make it work so how much is krampus at the moment 95 Oof, that's a lot. Now, I have a lot of Jolly Blades, so I kind of want to give a lot of those. How much is Jolly Blade at the moment? I believe that it's three. Yeah, it's three. So if I put in all nine of those, I don't want to give all ten because then I'm not going to have one. That's 27, which, you know, that's somewhat of progress. Again, a little low on tier threes, but, you know, I guess that's just what happens when you have to trade for top ten weapons. He said tier twos plus. All right, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. We can definitely do that. Okay, so this right here is is 95 he said maybe tier threes uh again that can happen probably should put in some better tier twos candy slayer i don't offer a lot of those so i probably should put some down if i put in three i believe this is 33 exotics right here and then if i put in these jolly blades that should be 84 and i'll put these two in i think that's 94 which is a little bit off but hey pretty good demand hold on wait bad math freezendo that is definitely even freezendo well goodbye jolly blades uh and the other knives goodbye to those two this is 95 for 95 pretty good trade these are all unobtainable and krampus is really freaking rare so uh definitely gonna want to do that i feel like every trading video we trade for a krampus these days seriously all right let's hop on over to competitive mode because i feel like a lot of people are playing competitive mode really grinding out that season i haven't even been on this mode since i got the fairy exotic how is it wow that's a lot of points yeah people sure are getting points what's 100 requirement wow 6k that's not nearly as bad as the last season honestly like it's been almost two weeks now it's been like a week and a half i remember when i grinded for comet i think it'd probably be around 8,000 by now if i had to guess hello good sir okay you have a fire brand i believe that's two um i mean you can unbox this at the moment so i'm not really gonna trade too much for it um crescendo and i have way too many hunters at the moment all right deal and he declined i mean i guess that's fair i just i don't want to trade too much for them again we don't really know how long this event is gonna last but uh it's it's been around for quite a while now i mean i could trade three exotics because it's unobtainable but like i don't know it's it's just gonna pile up if i trade for a bunch of fire brands using three exotics each it's just it piles up pretty quickly and i trade my sarah off a of fire feather i'm gonna say no to that because fire feather is unobtainable not getting a lot of trades here i'm gonna go to another server avoid champion uh i'm not sure if i can afford that but i perhaps have a champ axe i mean i think void champion is better than champ axe too 
so this would be a win i'm not gonna trade my champ axe one because first of all i've had it for two years and second of all i kind of just want to keep a champion axe and i don't want to trade for another one so yeah again i think i'm just gonna keep the champion axe too and give it away at 250,000 subscribers because that's a quarter of a million so i feel like you know that's that's a pretty good milestone to give away the worst champion weapon big skeleton big skeleton Ooh, we got a dream walker all right it's been a while since i've traded for a dream walker dream walker is currently 45 how much are these how much are these there's 16 each so if i put in three of these uh i'm still overpaying by three exotics which i don't know if i want to do that but it would be cool to get another dream walker it's been quite a while i'm gonna see if i can trade some other stuff though could put in a festive scythe uh inferno this is about 22 put down an earth elemental that's 33 all right getting somewhere and then i need something worth 12 which i can't really come up with uh rainbow saber is 13 so that's kind of something i could also give dark age but i feel like rainbow saber has better demand question mark i'm overpaying by one because i just i don't know what else to give instead of rainbow saber to be honest yeah let's see if i can put down maybe another electro saw that'd be kind of smart another electro saw and i still have three training slots so i could do something like some tier twos boom 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 that could work. Still overpaying by a little bit. Do I want to overpay for Dreamwalker? Probably. I mean, Dreamwalker is pretty good nowadays. I think instead of a Neutron, I'm gonna see if I can give maybe like a Vampire. That's fair. Okay, so here we have a Holiday Saber, which I'm a little bit torn on because ideally I would probably do something like Krampus Plus, Skeleton King Plus, but I feel like if I start putting in hordes of these, I can probably fit more value into six training slots. So I'm kind of in a tough scenario here. Assuming when i trade for black hole if i put in all of the top 100 prizes which is very likely i'm very likely to do that so kind of a tough scenario i might just trade some tier threes for a holiday saber because again holiday saber is really freaking good i trade for a lot of krampuses but not a lot of holiday sabers those are a lot harder to come across so if i put in this this is already 80 right off the bat and the holiday saber is 110 so i just need 30 more corrupted axe i don't know that doesn't have the best demand i think i can find something better or that's worth 30 water elemental that's 30 does that have better demand than corrupted axe i don't know but this is equal at the moment so i mean it's pretty good hearth is equal to holiday saber now and I can't wrap my head around that. If I want to overpay a bit, I can probably put in Fire Elemental. That's only five exotics more. And I have a bunch more Fire Elementals and Water Elemental. I might even argue that Water Elemental is probably more rare than Fire. This is a tough trick. I mean, I heard people like Tier 3s nowadays. Oh, thank you for the purple, good sir. Hello, how- okay, more purples. That's cool. What do we got? Festive Scythe and Dark Blade. Okay, all right um let's see if i can trade some obtainable stuff for that you know what buddy i'm going to give you a dark age technically overpaying by one festive scythe is 11 and dark blade is one so that adds up to 12 dark age is 13 but again festive scythe unobtainable so um you want to do it so far he's saying oof all right um i, I don't know I i'll think of something maybe a rainbow saber is that more appealing to you would you like some bundles i have bundles this is 12 for 12 I'll probably do this. I don't know. I don't know. It'd just be cool to get another festive scythe. I feel like that's pretty good nowadays. Still nothing. This man really likes his festive scythe. Any tier threes for Dreamwalker? Uh, that can happen. What even was my previous offer? I don't remember. All right, so here is my previous offer. And uh, mathematically, this is 46, which is a bit of overpay. Now, Inferno apparently has bad demand, which I guess is kind of fair. So it would be really nice to have those candy slayers. Um, but sadly, I don't have them. How many gilded lux do I have? Maybe I can put down one of those. I only have one of those as well. All right. Well, that is fine. We can balance things out a bit. Uh, let's put down possessed axe. That's a good tier three. That's 53. So we can probably cut down on a couple things. We can get rid of vampire and that would be 50 still five exotics overpay and then maybe get rid of that this would be an equal trade and you know there is tier threes involved all right so this guy's thinking about it i mean some things can be done maybe i can get rid of fairy axe put in another tier three i don't know all right so we're gonna go back to this trade and see if we can put down corrupted axe instead could you replace axe with neptune oh interesting i think neptune has lower value but definitely better demand uh sure thing gamer i mean i have more neptunes anyway so uh not a bad trade i'll do it you know getting another holiday saber 
getting a pretty good offer right here. And for the Dreamwalker tree, this guy wanted me to get rid of Fairy Axe because he has quite a bit of those. So what was it? Festive Scythe, Earth Elemental, uh, Possessed Axe, and instead of Fairy Axe, let's put in, let's put in Neutron. All right, and we're getting that trade for Dreamwalker as well. So pretty good trade, getting another Dreamwalker as well. That is awesome. Now we got two Dreamwalkers, two Holiday Sabers. We got another Krampus, so, you know, looking pretty good so far. Again, my final goal is to upgrade so I can trade for that Black Hole, so that is definitely good. All right, guys, but we are going to end off this training video with trading in Royale mode. I don't think it's working at the moment, but yeah, we're gonna trade in the Royale mode, and we're just gonna see what happens, you know? Let's see how many trades we can get. All right, let's see what this guy has. Bone Axe and Venom Shank. Not bad. I would definitely like another Bone Axe. I have five of them, but it would be nice to get some more. He wants Flame Maze for it. That might actually be a good trade, actually. I think Bone Axe is just better than Flame Maze. Uh, no, Flame Maze is equal to Bone Axe. So, again, not a terrible trade. I am getting a Venom Shank out of it, but again, I'm also kind of low on Flame Maces. Would you take a Bat Scythe? Would you take that instead? You know, I kind of just want to keep this equal. You get me? I mean, I guess I could just trade a Bat Scythe for a Flame Maze. I'm gonna do it. That's, that's an okay trade. Bone Axe pretty good nowadays getting a venom shank out of it pretty good overall a dark horse this is what five exotics nowadays um you want some tier ones i have some tier ones uh boom Ooh, a fury that's also pretty good i i guess i'll do it i mean i get a mythic out of it who knows this might become unobtainable in the future this is like what five exotics six this is six exotics i'll do it and then i think i can take that fury and I can craft, uh, something. A kunai, yes, I can craft a kunai. I'm gonna go ahead and take my striker and my synergy and my fury. Where is my fury? Here it is, gonna craft a kunai. And what can I do with that kunai? I can craft... I can craft an energy slicer or an imp. Now, I don't really have that many imps, so I think I'm gonna go with the imp. I'm gonna take my fang and the kunai. I'm gonna go ahead and craft an imp right there. There we go, we got another imp. Pretty underrated mythic nowadays. I feel like not a lot of people really talk about imp all that much when it's honestly a really cool mythic. Lucky Axe, would you like some tier ones? I'm, I'm gonna give tier ones as well. Yep, Proton, uh, more hunters. I have way too many hunters. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna put in one more exotic and it is going to be you know, okay, never mind. Cool, here we have a water elemental. That would be very nice to get. I'm gonna put in earth. Where is earth? Where is my earth? Right here? Oh, you also have earth. All right, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is 11 right here, so that's a good start. Ooh, a neon ancient. All right, that's also something I can get. Two keys. No. I mean, I like the snowman cone in this trade. Uh, you want a mythic? Like, like, you want an energy slicer or something? I can do that. I mean, sure. I get a snowman cone out of it. I don't really know if I want these exotics, though. But I probably can trade around, get another kunai. I'll do this trade. Shouldn't be too hard to get another energy slicer later down the line. And, it, okay, I'm, okay, sure. I'm only giving two exotics for that, though. Chaos Axe and Hunter. There you go, for snowman cone. Deal. This is unobtainable. Good trade. Exhibitionator. More tier ones for you. More tier ones for you. Good deal. This is a bundle. It's unobtainable. Better than tier ones. Yeah, you can get a lot done in a Royale server because there's so many people to trade with, honestly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I feel like we've done some pretty good trades today. We traded for a Krampus. We traded for a Holiday Saber. And we did quite a few good trades in that Royale server. Got my hands on some more snowman cones and some more bundles. So that is always exciting and that's good to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Assassin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all those other things that YouTube people do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.